Number 10. Audi Q6 e-tron Audi continues to expand its e-tron family, and the next model to come is the Q6 e-tron, a compact crossover that will share most of its parts with the all-electric Porsche Macan. The test mule has been spotted, and although it still wears camouflage, it clearly shows the headlights and taillights design, both adapted to the brand's latest language. What we also know is that the Q6 e-tron will be offered in two variants, as a common crossover and as a coupe, with Audi's recognizable sportback layout. We know that the former will offer 18.6 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats up and 54 in total, while the Sportback version will certainly sacrifice a bit of it, as well as a bit of rear passenger headroom. The company already showed the new interior, highlighted by three massive screens, including the one for the front passenger. We know that a dual version with 375 horsepower is coming for sure, but a few more trims with less and more power are expected as well. Pricing is yet to be announced, but we estimate the base models could cost around $60,000. Number 9. Acura ZDX the first ever EV from Honda's luxury division is on the way, and it will be a compact crossover with a pretty futuristic exterior. On the other hand, the interior design will rather be conservative with a dashboard design that keeps things old school in the manner of ICE cars. But just like in every Honda or Acura, what really matters is under the skin, and the ZDX is no exception. Even though it's more of a Cadillac than Acura, under the skin, this crossover relies on the Cadillac Lyric. It borrows the batteries as well as the electric motors, and just like Caddy, it will come in two variants. Base models will feature a single electric motor with a quite impressive 340 horsepower, while the Type S badge model will benefit from an additional electric motor at the front and a total output of 500 horsepower. As for the battery, all models will feature a massive 102 kilowatt hour package that will ensure between 280 and 325 miles on a single charge, depending on the version you pick. The base price is expected to go around $60,000. Number 8. The Lotus Electre. Just like any other other supercar maker, Lotus is also forced to produce SUVs to keep the business going, so the debut in the EV segment will bring something a little bit different compared to a typical Lotus model. It won't be light and super maneuverable. It will rather be a crossover, and the massive battery will add way more pounds than every genuine Lotus lover would like, but that will be compensated by tons of power. The most basic versions will feature a dual motor setup with over 600 horsepower and the ability to hit 60 in a little bit over 4 seconds. The real star of the show will be the R-Trim, with way more capable electric motors and a total output of 905 horsepower, which is enough to hit 60 in just 2.7 seconds. Both versions will feature a 109 kilowatt hour battery, with the max range going between 260 and 315 miles, depending on the version you pick. As for the price, expect to pay around $115,000 for the most basic version. Number 7. Jeep Recon The world is going all electric, and Jeep is perfect perfectly aware of that. That's why it brings you the brand new Recon, a mid-sized all-electric SUV with power folding rooftop and removable doors, as well as a tailgate mounted spare tire. And even though the company claims that this is not a replacement for the Wrangler, it's obvious that the Recon will have high off-road pretensions. Because if you take a look at the prototype, the first thing you'll notice is massive BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. We expect to see other signature off-road goodies as well, including a select terrain traction system, e-lock axles, skid plates, tow hooks, and many more. As for the powertrain and batteries, the officials are still quiet, but many sources suggest a setup with nearly 600 horsepower and a max range of 373 miles. Price-wise, the new off-roader is expected to start at around $60,000. Number 6. Lincoln Star Lincoln is another luxury car maker that is preparing a range of new EV models for the near future, and the Star is among the most interesting ones. Obviously, that's because this is an SUV large enough to be considered a family car, but what attracts our attention even more is its styling, which combines ruggedness and elegance in such a nice way, especially at the front, where you can also see some pretty futuristic lighting groups. On the inside, the Lincoln Star shows next-level luxury with a full-width screen and impressive 30-way adjustable seats. Under the skin, things are way more conventional, as this Lincoln shares most of the parts with the Mustang Mach-E. This means it will come with two battery packs on offer, either with 75.7 kilowatt-hour or 98.8 kilowatt-hour units. 
and the max output goes all the way up to 459 horsepower, the new Lincoln Star will be all about luxury and comfort. So the estimated starting price of around $70,000 shouldn't surprise you at all. Number 5. Porsche Macan EV Among car enthusiasts, the Porsche Macan is well known for its engaging handling and the ability to provide the drive and excitement you would usually expect from a sports coupe or sedan. And now, the German car maker is about to bring that magic into the EV world. Of course, the all-electric Macan will be notably heavier due to the massive 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, but that will be compensated by tons of power. For now, we know for sure that there will be at least two versions on offer, with the more powerful delivering around 600 horsepower. The base version, on the other hand, is expected to put out around 350 horsepower. The aforementioned 100 kilowatt hour battery should ensure around 300 miles of range, but more importantly, it will feature a pretty respectable 270 kilowatt charging rate, which will ensure pretty quick refueling at charging stations. Of course, all that technology costs, so it's no surprise that the estimated starting price is $80,000. Number 4. Jeep Wagoneer S Jeep did a pretty good job of bringing back the iconic nameplate. The new Wagoneer was accepted very well, both by the crowd and experts, so the company now wants to capitalize on that good reception and offer an all-electric version as well. That model is expected to be called the Jeep Wagoneer S, and it will come with several distinctive features when compared to the gas version. Different styling is one of the things that come to mind, but we are pretty sure that you are more interested in what's going to happen under the skin. Well, the officials are still quiet, but it looks like Jeep is chasing the Tesla Model X's level of performance with the ability to hit 60 in about 3.5 seconds. At the same time, it will preserve the Wagoneer's high off-road potential, all to offer a vehicle that performs great both off and on the road, something like an all-electric Range Rover Sport Alternative. The most basic version is expected to cost around $80,000. Number 3. Hyundai Ioniq 7 Unlike most of the new EV models, the Ioniq 7 brings the features an average buyer needs. It won't be too expensive or insanely quick, but it will offer a genuine family SUV design with immense interior space and a super high level of practicality. The Hyundai will look attractive, but more importantly, it will be comfortable and spacious, a genuine three-row SUV. While the prototype shows some pretty interesting technical solutions that allow all kinds of seating reconfigurations, we expect the production version to be a little bit more conventional. As for the powertrain and the battery, things will most likely be the same as in the Kia EV9, which means that the most capable version will be good for 379 horsepower. But we think that the less powerful single motor version will be way more interesting, considering that it will cost around $50,000 and, for that money, offer not just tons of interior space, but also an excellent charging rate and the ability to recharge 80% of the battery in just 20 minutes. Number 2. Cadillac Escalade IQ big on everything. That's how people describe the Escalade. And now, with the all-electric version, things are about to escalate, literally, in every aspect. The Escalade IQ will be bigger than the gas version, with a wheelbase that goes all the way up to 136.2 inches. Due to the massive 200 kilowatt hour battery pack, it will also be much heavier than the gas-powered model, pretty close to the 9,063-pound GMC Hummer EV. What's also about to get bigger is the amount of power, up to 750 horsepower in the Velocity Max mode, which is not just a boost, but a genuine drive mode that lasts as long as you keep it on. And that's enough power for 0 to 60 sprint in about 4.5 seconds. In normal mode, the max output is rated at also impressive 650 horsepower. What's even more interesting is the max range, which is expected to go all the way up to 450 miles. Of course, the Ultimum battery technology also ensures an impressive 350 kilowatt charging rate, which in practice means adding 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes. Like the GMC Hummer EV, the all-electric Escalade IQ will first come in the most prestigious variant, simply called First Edition, with a price tag of around $130,000. Base models will arrive later with a starting price of around $100,000. Number 1. Volvo EX90 The Swedish automotive maker amazed the world with the tiny EX30. It showed that an electric car can be affordable and technologically advanced at the same time. Most importantly, it showed what a minimal carbon footprint really means. And now, it's about to apply the same formula into something much bigger, into something that has the potential to become a bestseller. The all-new EX90 is arguably 
one of the most anticipated models for the next year. Compared to the gas-powered XC90, it looks notably sleeker. Although it keeps some of Volvo's signature aesthetical solutions, more importantly, it is about to offer some pretty respectable performance and advanced EV technology. Base models will feature a dual-motor setup with 400 horsepower, while the high-performance versions are expected to put out 496, which will be enough to hit 60 in about 4.5 seconds. At the same time, it will offer a respectable charging rate with the ability to recharge 80% of the 111 kilowatt hour battery pack in about 30 minutes. As for the range, expect it to go around 300 miles on a single charge. And despite all the technology, luxury, and performance, as well as the minimal carbon footprint, the EX90 will be competitively priced, with base versions going around $80,000. And that's it. If you want to see more electric SUVs, check out this video. See you there.